Welcome to the Geotechnical and Structures Laboratory of the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center. We've made great progress and made many changes to support our mission for the nation. We do great things for this country and we have great people, our most valuable asset here at GSL. Our experts are doing world-class work for a large number of agencies and stakeholders for our nation and the Army. With over 420 engineers, scientists, technicians, and administrative professionals, we have about 70% of our engineers and scientists holding advanced degrees. We believe in growing our talent, which is evidenced by the large number of student interns we employ across our branches. We are very proud of these GSL statistics because we believe in investing in our entire team's technical and leadership skills as we look to the future. A major change that we've embraced is the Army's transformation and the establishment of the Army's modernization priorities. For the past two decades, the Army has been focused on counterinsurgency operations and really has overlooked the importance of understanding uh, the enemy's advancements for large-scale ground combat and anti-access area denial. So with this in mind, Army leadership has defined multiple modernization priorities, six at the top of the list, to give us that competitive advantage and, and regain control of these conflicts that may emerge in the future. The six modernization priorities are long-range precision fires, next-gen combat vehicle, future vertical lift, Army network, air and missile defense, and soldier lethality, and GSL is centered in four of those cross-functional teams. In addition to GSL's direct contribution to the cross-functional teams, we're also providing the Army modernization SMT for the research areas that align with our core competencies. Number one, our institutional knowledge in blast and weapons effects is providing the Army with new technology for structural hardening and expedient protective structures. Number two, our national expertise in civil and military engineering of airfields, pavements, mobility, and transportation networks is providing the Army and Joint Force new approaches to force projection. And lastly, we continue to provide state-of-the-art solutions to allow our forces to move through denied, degraded, or damaged areas that can be encountered in future disasters or conflicts. We are the experts in uh, weapons effects against structures. So uh, when the Army has a need uh, to protect civilians or soldiers, uh, they come to us because we're the world experts in weapons effects against structures. The data from these experiments also allows us to calibrate and validate computational models as well as to develop fast running algorithms. We use simulations to analyze potential threats and predict future outcomes for both civil works and military engineering applications. The reason our work matters here at URDIC is because it helps to support and enable and protect the warfighter in the field by providing them with products that they can use in the field to protect themselves, whether it be a physical item or a fast running app that they can use while they are deployed. We support the battle space terrain focus area of GSL's core competencies and priorities of the Army Features Command. Our primary goal is to deliver practical technical solutions for the detection of subterranean threats to better inform battle space commanders and protect our soldiers. Infrasound is low frequency acoustics defined as being below the range of human hearing and can propagate tens to hundreds to even thousands of kilometers based on the strength of the signal. This passive persistent monitoring of critical infrastructure as well as impulsive sources doesn't require line of sight and can be used for over the horizon detection. Our team is able to collaborate both across GSL and across the URDIC in order to provide real solutions to the warfighter. We focus on providing materials and technologies that enable force projection and freedom of maneuver support for the U.S. forces throughout the world. The GSL addresses some of the toughest challenges that are part of the civil and military engineering core competency. In fact, military airfield construction research at URDIC dates back 80 years when there was a severe lag in technologies that could support the aircraft of that time. Since then, millions of dollars have been invested in technologies for rapidly assessing, repairing, and expanding military airfields for immediate emergency use, and for increasing the on-ground capacity of our heaviest military aircraft. This is why GSL is the Army lead for airfield pavement repair research and expedient construction of temporary airfields. 
as the U.S. Army looks towards the future and the development of the next generation combat vehicles, there are additional environmental conditions and effects that need to be considered beyond those traditional ones that you know, impact the vehicle mobility. This is because the next generation combat vehicle may be manned and may be unmanned, but regardless, it will host a, a suite of modern sensors. It's more of a vehicle platform. So the modeling simulation tools that we've developed, they enable robust algorithms. They enable testing and validation of those algorithms because for every 10 or 100 physical tests, you're able to run thousands in modeling simulations. As you have autonomous vehicles, you get the warfighter out of harm's way and ensures that the U.S. Army is unmatched on the battlefield. Traditionally, we provide support for levee and dam construction and remediation projects. We've been providing support for the levee and dam construction since the dam building boom of the 1940s and 50s, and presently we are supporting the remediation efforts to extend the service life of these structures and continue to provide flood protection for the nation. Our detailed railroad inspections are used to discover research needs across the DOD, develop new tools and techniques for railroad construction and repair, and to deliver these topics to installations and the warfighter. Our focus is to evaluate railroad construction and infrastructure and provide materials and technologies that enable force projection and freedom of maneuver of U.S. forces throughout the world. GSL is the Army lead for railroad research and infrastructure evaluation and continues to address some of the toughest challenges that are part of the civil and military engineering core competency, all of which make GSL Army strong. This year we initiated a research project under navigation systems to develop precast ultra high performance concrete panels for the rehabilitation of navigation lock walls. This technology was originally developed for military engineering and now we're leveraging that knowledge to improve our civil works infrastructure. These new panels will help us achieve improved durability against deterioration mechanisms as well as the impact and abrasion of navigation traffic. We've been working closely with USACE districts to make sure we address their needs and reduce the future maintenance costs of these structures. One of the things that makes the GSL a premier organization is our personnel and our subject matter experts and how we utilize those to transition these engineering technical competencies to the rest of the Corps of Engineers. This is a great and world-class organization. I'm very proud to be the leader for GSL and very proud to work with this great team delivering great product for this country.